Hello. Uh, well, this is the, um, fuck, I didn't say I was going to say welcome, but anyways, you're already here. It's too late. It's already happening. <laughs> welcome to yet another podcast, bro. I'm excited. I'm like ripping and dipping and skipping on this one. Uh, would you like to say anything, my fellow host? Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's my host. Uh, I'm so sorry. Me. The last one was a mess. I no, feel it's like. No, it's not. I feel like it was naturally wrong. Good. I was under the influence. I'm no, so you sorry. Didn't say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never Sorry, thing, nothing that never was a thing. Welcome. This one, I don't know. I'm just really excited. We um, try to record sooner. Things happen. What's life? You know, I'm homeless. Don't say that. Shh. Anyways, so Cynthia, how are you, how are things? How I bought life? a lot of plants. Really? In this oh, yeah. these last nice. couple of weeks, like I like your plants. I think they're great. Um, they, I think they're good for a lot of things. I think it helps people's moods and other things like that. But that's not what we're here to talk <laughs> about, right? That's not what it is. Um, we're here for uh, the Exorcist, not exorcism, right? That's another thing. That's another movie. The Exorcism, like there's, there's the, so many. Movies. How many really? Yeah. Are they, is Af- it like Fast after- and the Furious? Because you know no, how they no, were like no, no, Fast no, no. this. I mean, unrelated years. to to the Exorcist. There's, I feel like a lot of exorcism movies came out after. Th- Oh, you think they just all have the name? Do you know there's, how many uh, exorcists? Oh, that are related to yeah, the, the exorcist? Story, there's yeah. three. Oh, that's weird. Because I know the exorcist like was all based off a book. So are the other ones? Probably not. I don't. Right? I think the first one was the first was book, book was made, mm-hmm. and then they came out with a movie, and then they just, just kept going as they do yeah, with sense. other things. So this movie was recommended by one um, Moosh Moosh, one Meechums. Mochi ice cream. The the mochi herself. Your your. Uh, I don't know your loved one, my niece. Yeah, she was she was cool. Yeah, so I asked her because we couldn't pick, right? It was like a lot of I don't know. I don't know even know if we gave it much thought. I just didn't know what to pick, and I'm trying to do this thing where I uh, take recommendations and try new things. I feel like that's been my mm-hmm. like I don't know if I've said it in a lot or enough, but I feel like I've said it a lot at least to myself. I'm really happy she told us to do this. The one. Exorcist. Yeah. yeah. What did she say before this? She said, um. I feel it? like she said The Shining. Or no, no, it wasn't. I don't remember what it the was. Conjuring. The Conjuring. The Conjuring. She said The Conjuring, yeah, and then she said, no, what, The Exorcist. Yeah, I don't know what The Conjuring is either. Is it better? Is it as good? Is it like... I don't... The, I this think it's deep, weird bro. to compare. After I watched it, like, while I was watching, I was like, wow, there's a lot of symbolism going on here, right? And then, like, afterwards, because I like research, and I feel like you probably did the same, <laughs> then yeah. I start looking into things, and then I, you call back Wait. to it, like the movie. Yeah. Is this your first time? Was this your first time watching? Yeah, it ever? I'm, I'm not, this is my first time watching any of these movies. Oh, I've, I've never watched any okay. of these movies. I didn't know yeah, that. No, I, I don't watch any. Like, I think the the only scary movie that I watched before this, it was like, um, what's that one? Final Destination with the theme park. I think that's like the third Three? one. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the only one that I've ever actually watched. And I think another final, like the final Dest like the last one. I'm, I'm assuming is the last one. I think it was called the Final Destination. So those are probably I guess that's all I've seen of scary movies. Oh, and I've okay. seen some of Saw, and I know like I know about some scary movies so, just in passing, but the like yeah no I've never watched Exorcist. The only oh sorry you were saying something. No, I was just gonna ask like the last podcast when we were talking about Chucky, you said like you knew of it. Yeah, is that the same for this movie? Yeah, I know a lot. I know like a lot of I can just like name them off. I don't know if that would really be interesting what, for anyone. When's the first time you remember like hearing about it? The Exorcist. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. That so it was. I don't know, the early 2000s. Um, Can I guess? Yeah, sure. Was it the Scary Maze game? Oh, yeah, she was. Yeah. <laughs> that picture was her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't even. Oh, okay. So no, was that it? wasn't. It was um my oldest sister. She came back from like, she would go out with her friends or something like that. And she told me about this film. But it wasn't this one. But I knew it was of the series right it was this little girl got possessed and she like did a spider crawl and her head went backwards um which it, i mean it could have been this one i don't know if that happens in any other of the exorcism x ex, xers the exes films do you know i'm thinking of a movie that i'm blanking on that's what i always thought it was i assumed it's this movie uh I'm, but i'm not 100 percent sure to really just go out there on a limb for it I don't want anyone to yell at me for my lack of knowledge. But yeah, of so scares. she told you about this movie. Yeah, she's the one who told me about this movie. Um, I assume she watched it in theaters, but I, I don't even, I could be wrong. Like, that was so long ago. Like, my memory is such ass. Not even like a nice one. <laughs> Not even like, like Zeke's. A, duh, that juice. <laughs> juicy Busey. He has no business. Mm. Juicy Busey. <laughs> yeah, that guy. So there's no butts in here, but there is, oh man, there's a, like, so. 
There's something. There's, a, there's something, there's dude. Something. So the so the movie kind of starts. If we're gonna get into it, know that every time every movie we're talking about, just going forward, like I'm gonna I'm, I should say it every video or like podcast or what have you. Spoilers. If like, you honestly, haven't seen it, it's gonna yeah, get spoiled. A lot of these movies we're gonna watch are probably like iconic films and things like that. So the fact that you haven't so watched go it, watch it watch before it, you yeah. come here. I mean, thank you for watching. What is this like? Six minutes of of you know, what we have. We appreciate. Thank you for the view. Please thumbs up, all that stuff. But come back. I mean, if you like to, I would hope that you would fucking come back. That would be that would be nice, you know. Get that fucking longevity going. Um, so it starts off with something that I wasn't envisioning at all. I didn't think it was gonna. I thought it was gonna be straight into the the film, right? The straight into the. Not that it didn't start. Introducing the, the ch- little girl. Exactly. Because I knew about the little girl. Well, I knew about the fucking ugly face, you know? Yeah. So it starts off in like Iraq like what the or fuck something. is the beginning? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like excava- excavating. And that's what back before we watched it. I oh, think wait. You, hold on. What was your... <laughs> sorry. Before... <laughs> My first experience? Yeah. So I'm talking about yours. Um, okay. The first... I th- I want to say it was the Scary Maze game. But what it could you know have was... been the scary movie. Like, a, what is it? Scary movie three? No. What? A, um, one of the scary movies. Yeah. I don't remember which one. Maybe two or some shit. But mm-hmm. it, in the beginning, they make fun of The Exorcist. Mm-hmm. But I had never oh, seen. Oh yeah, there's a priest, and he's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know I had never about. seen the actual. They movie, like the fuck. Exorcist. Actually, I think it, in the yeah, in dude, scary I movie. I hate that kind of shit i absolutely Gross out like, humor? no like any of the scary movie films like this when we're talking about like the scary movie franchise like scary movie one two you know the woody and what we're talking about yeah i just don't like that like robot chicken fucking oh, like, dirty just, disgusting um like, vulgar for the sake of being vulgar kind yeah. of thing where it's like there's no real um i can handle like commentary explicit to it. you know sexual stuff i can handle like, like south park is what you're saying you can handle like because there's a message behind it. there's a purpose behind yeah what i don't doing. like stupid i don't know how to explain it because I can handle yeah, South Park, but I can't of, handle yeah. that stupid fucking... It's just, like, it's just vulgar. Do you remember the gummy bear? Sorry to trail off, but yeah. like that shit scared me. Like the It just made bear. me so uncomfortable. You know, like that robot chicken little clip where it's like the gummy bear dancing and then her fucking uh, foot gets caught in Oh, the, yeah, I'm a gummy bear. Yeah, gummy bear. I just yeah. hate that stuff. So my fr- I think I played the Scary Maze game first, mm-hmm. and then I think I watched the sc- Scary Movie, whichever one it was, mm-hmm. and I thought that's where it was from. Mm. And I was just like, ew, whatever this is, it's fucking disgusting. I hate this. This is just gross. Mm. I don't like it. Mm. And then I think I watched The Actual Exorcist. Like, I knew about it, mm. but I didn't watch it until I was like 12, I think, at my brother's house. And it scared the shit out of me. Well, I mean, I would imagine so. I, mean, I... And I remember, because um, my brother lived in like a wed- one-bedroom house, mm. and we were all staying there, and we were all in the living room. And he just never, like mo- most of my life, everywhere I've been, someone like leaves a light on, whether it's in the hallway or something. He just, no lights. The TV, like I think we fell asleep watching the TV and like that turned off. And I just woke up after we had watched it that night around like, I don't know, two, three in the morning, pitch black. And I'm like, I somebody, no. please. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see it, but I, I was, smiled at I you. I was like, trying fuck. to like, yeah, I was like, you know, put the cover over your head and just like, mm-hmm. go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, I've never had any like situation where that happened. That sounds fucking wild. <laughs> I think all your, all your all your experiences like that. <laughs> Most, yeah. I'm, all, but that's the thing because I, okay. I like being scared in the moment, and then some shit like that happens. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, why did I? It was like do repercussions. This? Like you're gonna get, you're getting punished for watching a scary movie. Yeah, kind of but I like that feeling. Mm. All right. So there it is. <laughs> Opening. That's good. No, it, it, the, I feel almost selfish because it was just me saying it. And I didn't think about it, really. I just, I was like, yeah, and that's how I felt or whatever. <laughs> but no, I think it's important to go back and forth. This one didn't open how I thought it would with the weird, I think they were in like a Middle Eastern place. I honestly don't know the location. Oh, and that's, that's what I was going to get to uh-huh. is before you asked you were like how many times did you watch this Uh i think because i think i told you i watched it a bunch of like quite a few times and i still don't really get the beginning oh i know oh did you figure it out yeah well i mean yeah now i do but the thing is because i watched it it as a kid and you know as a kid you don't really like pay attention Mm -hmm. to shit like that it's kind of what'd you think as a kid you were just like it doesn't make sense to me yeah i'm just like okay i know something scary is about to happen what is this and there's no explanation it's just yeah no it's very so you're supposed to put the puzzles puzzle after having watched multiple movies, it's kind of like now you. I'm, I watch it. And I'm like, oh. So what? This what, is, what is it? It's like a demon thing that they find. In which, if you don't know that yourself from having watched other things, uh, you don't really get it until you watch like ex- so the, the second Exorcist. Do you think that like he dug up 
the demon and that's what happened yeah like it wasn't meant to be found see i think it's i don't think it's that no what do you think i think he's that he's battled that demon before oh that's interesting and he found the the piece because the 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 demon because he like knew um, he kind of looks like yeah he knew and he didn't ask any questions remember when he was shooting the the other priest they just call him over and they're like so the main characters right just just because there's so there's um two priests one's like um like indiana jones type priest right he goes out and ask and excavates and then there's like the um rocky looking priest and then there's the actress mother and then there's the daughter who's being possessed i don't remember their name in the that movie one. i just know the little girl's name is reagan reagan yeah so indiana jones is okay he's an old man yeah yeah i don't I'm the, the old priest the old priest uh i think he battled with the demon because the demon not Cthulhu. What's his name? They don't Pazuzu, Pazuzu, Pazuzu yeah. which is such a which shitty name. Which they don't name. say. They don't in say the it. Film. You they have say to... it in the second movie. Yeah, and you have to read the book to know that the demon's name is Pazuzu, and Pazuzu is um the demon of wind, wind, and like why at one point the priest says something about how, why, like be careful around like slippery slopes or something about how like the wind will push you. It's very subtle, but that's the reason why he mentions that. Right, so this priest, I feel like has cuts to the dogs fighting. It cuts to the dogs <laughs> fighting, which I think is a representation of Pazuzu's voice, the anger, and also the, if you notice, one dog's white and one dog's black. I think that's the fight between good and evil. And then you see the man oh, looking shit. at him. Look at you. And you look at the man, right? Because the man just watching him. I think that's supposed to kind of represent like Pazuzu, like what, like looking at, keeping an eye on him. Because if you see, the, um, after he like excav- excavates, he goes and eats or whatever. There's constantly other men watching him. There's no reason why they would be watching him. I think it's it's, it's Pazuzu, what, like looking at what he's doing. Once he, oh fuck, he found me again. I love this. I'm so happy. I'm so. <laughs> I love hearing this. Right, because it makes sense. I didn't sense. even think of that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like that's the connection, and then um. He like I don't know why he picks her. I'm so excited! <laughs> but I think that Pazuzu knows that the, there's a connection between him and that little girl. I think there's a connection because the area, because that's because the priest. I think all of this is like plotted with the, the demon, because I imagine that this demon ha- does have powers, connections with other spirits. Because you, at one point, the demon says some multiple of us in here. I don't know if there really is, but maybe that's some. There's his, it's his way of saying like I have. Yeah. There's more ways that I can form. I think he has it out for the priest, and I, and I believe that there is some history because of that. I think there's a reason why he he brings her back. It's just all left up to interpretation, though. Yeah, like, there is, but I mean, there was a book, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, like, all like how many people knew there was a book? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, very true. I didn't know until I. Everyone sees finish. this trailer come out, which, by the way, was banned. The trailer? You know about that? No. Yeah, when it came out, Why was it, it was too disturbing. I it wasn't. They were trying to make it rated X, I think, because it was like the child stuff. There was not a lot of films going yeah, after children. Dude. This is so. This is known as like the scariest movie ever. Like really? many people will yeah. say, this is there was the scariest movie they that could I think um, of. dug up of people wanting to throw up, and this one people chick, did. People fainted. People fucking left running out of the up. theaters. Yeah. Especially it was in Which the 70s. Which is fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Like how iconic. It's it's wild that they even got as far as they did. The studio didn't believe in the film. A lot of people think that the the movie's cursed. That the film crew oh, is cursed. Dude. And that's its own like conversation, honestly. That it's So many people died during the production of the movie. It's Two not, of the... Yes. That's not so many though. Nine. Nine people. Nine, nine deaths nine, related to... Really? Yes. I don't know if I believe that how two two of them the actually priest. died in real life i think one of the deaths wasn't on the cast the, no, 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 the I'm jock not priest on the set i'm just saying generally speaking in life, relation the amount of deaths that were like you know it's just like that i know doesn't that happen. i know that um key priest the young one someone in his family died during the production of the film mm-hmm. and he had to do the rest of the film feeling like shit yeah like he really had to and keep then his someone composure. else's wife and baby like i think she died giving birth and the baby was stillborn Mm, and one of the actors that dies in the movie ended up dying he got shot i think i think that might have been the the drunk director that reagan kills one of the actual actors oh Uh, the set caught caught on fire yes the set caught on fire fire. to this day they don't know why yeah so there's rumors that it that some people are saying that it didn't happen at all but others are just like what how can you say that we were there (laughs) that's why it was yeah there's deaths like of course something's bound to happen like took a a whole year to film Mm. the movie but nine yeah i mean also the director dude he was such a fucking dick yeah 
Um, anything else to add? You, you're looking at she has notes. She has <laughs> notes, everybody. She has notes. Because the last time I feel like we hopped everywhere, That's and good. I was like, I have ideas. We're hopping of, in you everywhere. No, I know, but like the last after hearing it, I was like, man, I had this to say and this to oh. say. So I want to make sure I don't like leave anything out. Well, just don't get caught up, man. Sometimes no, if you ever, I don't know if you're ever in a lecture, you're caught up between listening to the professor and writing notes, and then you end up not listening to the professor. Yeah, I'd always end up crying after that. Because your notes so are slow. your notes are well for me like my own notes were ass and and I don't even remember what they were about because I didn't give any context and that's you know do what you do I'm just saying yeah. like I don't there's that warning of of you might end up doing that to yourself which happens to me um, what I I hope you didn't like write them like long form I wish I, I hope that you wrote them out like like keywords priest sexual you know what religion. I mean religion yeah like <laughs> which I don't know. by the way what I said in the first podcast was actually like i thought about it when we started doing this right and i'm like it was gonna make sense i just didn't know how to explain it and i (laughs) i was off somewhere else while you were talking and then Mm -hmm. i was like where the fuck did i go but um yeah that plays into this movie is is like your religious views Mm -hmm. but what i'm trying to get to is that there's a lot of symbolism there's like some like sexual god how do i say this I think it, it, this this movie can like in the way that a Regan reacts and like the demon goes about you know how she, the, it expresses itself things like that tells me that maybe there was some like sexual trauma. So I think the the reason why I think this is like a like a metaphor for like sexual trauma is so I'm trying to get my bearings in order. I think it, there's a couple of things that kind of just pointed me in this direction, right? So the mother isn't home all that often. They, uh, when she did come back at one point, she asked like her one of her helpers because she's an actress and she has helpers and whatnot around the house, like assistants. Seems like she's pretty well off. Well off, yeah. And then the, her her director friend, the guy that that died in real life but also died dies in the film. Yeah. Um, he was left alone with her. He was left alone with her, and then she killed him. Why was what was he doing? No one, no one, no one questioned. Dude. No one like why was he in her room at all? No one questioned that in the film. Just that, why did why was he killed? Why was he killed? Yeah, there. Like who killed why him? Why was there? he up there to begin with? No one asked that question. Holy shit! And then and then like what the what the demon like maybe that's the sign of weakness that like gets, you know, the demon inside because like, they, they look mean, for, for the weak they look for the weak soul to like um impede you know demons go for a weak soul and right. if someone just got you know but it all went through that trauma then. Then there, then that's the way in, and I think that's why it led to the eventual thing of the crucifix. Yeah, she fucks with a cross, dude, but she also asks the priest to fuck her, which is like not what usually happens. Like that's not granted. I'm not. A, I'm also not a fucking psychologist, but um, while researching this, like that was one of the things that that popped up. That like it's a kind of like a, you know, I think I don't know. I'm just trying not to bury myself in fucking hot water. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it's just very interesting that like the 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 demon keeps saying shit like that. Like that's kind of out of nowhere you think about it like where does that fit yeah in? well he's not the demon of sex he's the, the demon the of writer, like, wins and stuff that's a really interesting view on that i didn't even fucking think of that so it's really crazy like well, that's cool to yeah. hear you out um the reason the writer did like did that scene wrote that in whatever was supposed to be to get which well, was shocking right it was that well it? it was because the mom's an atheist so it was kind of like a way to like hey take her to get an exorcism it was supposed to you know what i mean but like the way that i see it though Mm -hmm. is like if even if that happened in real life for this plot of the movie right Mm -hmm. how do you get this atheist mom to finally say okay i need to get her to to get an exorcism she saw this and she's like oh shit i need to take her yeah Yeah. the psych people are saying this nothing's happening why the fuck is the bed moving and then like that was like the last straw and she's like i need to see a priest for the sake of the movie it's like oh okay sure like that was it you know some again it kind of plays into like religious things like any religious person would probably do the same thing they would have done it right away like depending on how you religious you are me back then you know like instantly go to a priest yeah 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 yeah. here's the thing here's a question that i have right because you're going into that which i think is great why in the movie they make it seem like oh the catholics don't do this anymore they think of it as barbaric Back then, people didn't know a whole lot about psych- psychological, you know, illnesses and stuff like that. So it's kind of... Is it looked down upon? Is it shamed by the Catholic Church? 
Like, was did anyone ever <laughs> talk about exorcisms? Be- like, <laughs> sorry, you know what I mean? Because from this film, like again, yeah, I, I, I had out, uh, like, when I went to catechism. I think it was honestly, oh, this is so touchy. I was forced oh, to go to all of that. I did yeah. not go by choice. Okay. I did you listen to any of it? Hardly. Most of the time, I was rolling my eyes. I'm so sorry for anyone that gets offended, but like, I'm. <sighs> I couldn't. A, a lot of it seemed made up. Mm-hmm. Not the religious aspects, but the people who would talk, they would say... <laughs> like practice what you preach, is that what you're saying? Well, they would say stuff that just didn't add up about their own personal lives. And, it's you know, it was just... It was hard for me to actually take interest in a lot of things. And honestly, after most of my catechism classes, I would go home and, like, I would type out my, like, counter arguments to the things they would say really? and I would depict shit Holy because I was shit, just like, dude, dude like, really... I'm sorry, but like, because a lot of the things, not to tap into like religion itself, but these people specifically pissed me off because mm-hmm. what they would say specifically was just to. <laughs> sorry, I'm. No, it's fine. This is like We're... you just hit a spot in me that like, oh, oh. <laughs> like I would just go home and then I would go to to these catechism classes with one of my breast best breast friends my breast one of my best friends and so then i'd go home and i'd just be like venting to her on the way about like this is just such bullshit the way they said xyz so i think i think that i remember exorcisms was i think she just said like yeah they're real i think that someone was like do these really happen in real life and then she was like the film i don't know right probably i mean mean, real exorcisms do happen yeah there's many it's like, just in the film that make it seem so like hush hush yeah right but it's like because it's not but i've like, heard it all my life right and i don't know if it's because the film came out and it kind of like blew that whole thing wide open mm-hmm. so i'm kind of wondering and that's why i was asking you but like the mm-hmm. whole idea like there's no no it's not hidden i guess like fuck yeah i think it all she said someone some kid was like hey is this real and she was like yeah it happens but that was oh, wow. kind of all i mean and they do in fact happen i just think it's a very much a last resort especially like nowadays mm-hmm. you know because yeah, now no. people are just like si- like what it's i was gonna what say happened in the movie yeah is like even if i saw that like if, even if i were to see something as disturbing as that i wouldn't think oh my god get her to an exorcism i would say we need to call the hospital we need to have them yeah 50 51 50 yeah, yeah. You, you wouldn't go there you wouldn't go there i think that's most people and that's why i appreciate that they even added that tidbit in there because i think other scary movies would just go straight to it yeah which i think is just such bullshit and that's what i like i like the pacing in the whole film right it's very they, quick it, no it's not quick no it's, it's you the, don't uh, think so you, they started off unrelated kind of without explaining pazuzu or whatever they even say his name no and then they had to and they had like introduce every character oh that's slowly. true and they give like the everyone had their own back yeah. story yeah, yeah i don't know about quick pace Quick pace would be just get starting with the exercise, you know what I mean? And yeah. It's well paced, so you're not you don't really feel like it's dragged on. I think yeah. compared that's what to, I meant. It doesn't drag. Yeah, it doesn't drag on. I think compared to like modern a lot of modern films are just right you start right as the action starts, I feel like. Like they're already in the psych ward. Yeah, they're already in the But you don't know about ward. the story, how mm-hmm. long it took for that to happen or how mm-hmm. long they've been in there. Yeah, and it's exactly. just like they visit and Especially it's Especially with like, scary movies. I mean, I yeah. feel like it's just so easy to just like, oh, it's already happening, like what's what what is this? And then you know, kind of unraveled it from there. But this is like it took its time. Like I don't think anyone realized how much work was put into this the, movie scene, in its time. And mm-hmm. so it's like now that everyone's just hot. like, oh, let's just get to the scary. Let's just how much mm-hmm. scary can we do and just pack it into it in. one film? Yeah. yeah. But no, this one this this one felt like a piece of art. Um, I I heard at the like when they were out there in the sun, like people were fainting and shit from how hot it was. It was not a good scene. The makeup was running. Like I remember th- hearing about the makeup artist was yelling at the director, like, it's going to look like shit. It's going to look like shit. If we just keep him out in the sun, it's sweating his ass off. The makeup, there's no point for me, you know? And he was yeah. Because he was wearing like old, like that actor doesn't look that old. Like he, it's makeup that he's wearing to make him look older than he is. Oh, like the priest. Yeah. But the movie continues, right? So that symbolism with the dog and stuff, which I thought was, dude, that hurt yeah, my head. Yeah, I love that you pointed that out. I never even thought. Mm. I was just like, why is this here? Like, I get it, but like, no, it's it's a, it's a representation on. of of what it is. And then, ooh, I want to watch Pulp Fiction. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Mm-hmm. Sorry, you have. Yeah, I want to watch that again with like with, with you. Me, so so I want to hear what you think because I have my own um, things about that thoughts. So, sorry, but, go on. <laughs> I'm just trying to get, regain like because there's so much to the film. Yeah, I think there's it, a lot to unpack. I like that the priest that um. There's like an arc with it. The Rocky, the younger priest, right? Um, the one who kind of discovers the girl. His his arc is kind of going through him lo- losing his faith. He says that a couple of times. Um, he doesn't know what to do anymore. He's losing his faith. He, um, the Rocky guy? 
but like he went to go see his mom and that really fucked him up because his mom was like you you put me in here that sort of well, thing and then and the like, uncle he's like because it wasn't helping at all yeah the that priest he's like a psych priest he's, he's a psych priest and then yeah. he works for the school he like aids in that mm-hmm. and so when he goes to visit the uncles there and the uncles like had you become a psychologist you know you could have afforded to put her somewhere better yeah, and shit like some, that he said some he's like you know you know x y like this like, much about more psychology God. why didn't mm-hmm. you do something with it instead of like becoming a priest yeah and then i think the um the actress uh the famous actress mother of, of regan also asked the thing like how is it that um that a psychologist becomes a priest and he's like it was the other way around um, she was also very. She was not likable. That woman, I hated her. She the was mom. Just, no, I, she, she wasn't. But I understand why. It was her. Her her daughter was going through something. You know, she her daughter was literally peeing on the fucking floor. Well, and her the oh, that's the daughter. One. Yeah. Um, another oh, s- sexual trauma was they, the peeing. Yes, as soon as he kids, left. What the? Be- oh my god. As soon as he le- As soon as I'm he sorry, left. Sorry, you're like that's such a mind fuck. As that soon just- as as soon as he left, she came downstairs. And fucking peed. And was staring I'm sorry, right at I'm him. I'm just literally thing. staring at him in awe because I can't believe I missed all of that. Mm-hmm. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. This whole thing could be a sexual allegory for sex. Yeah. Oh, sexual my God. Trauma. Hey, high five. Get- that's so good. I yeah. mean, that's not good. <laughs> no, I, I, as a, like, no. That I, realization. It, that, yeah, that like the, the the construction of this like nugget <gasps> of thing. So now do you look at it with a different yeah, light? Yeah, and I want to rewatch it now. I yeah. want it. Whoa. I hate Because if you notice, like, he says that the little guy, he's like lonely. He like wants, he he definitely has romantic feelings. Even the daughter sees it. Yeah, the daughter was like, oh, you um, see your are you going to invite what's his well, face? Yeah, the director guy. Like him. Yeah. That's that's just my little thing. My mind was just blown. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, it's it's not, uh, no one, and like um, the people who do think about it, right? And then talk about it on the internet. Other people that really like the movie seem to. Maybe it's because it's such a sensitive topic. It's yeah, no one wants to. They get think angry about that. They it? hate it. They're like it almost ruins it for them. But it, it, and it's and it, I don't even know if the director did that on purpose or like what or if that's from the film. Mm-hmm. You know, because again, they never explored that in the film. You know, like if it was something he planned to to make the forefront. Then when the doctors were kind of l- laying out the possibilities. Yeah, because even in the research that I did, no one, when he's talking about what got him to make the film he, he talks about him. like Everything. oh i heard about someone getting exorcism in my neighborhood it was, so uh, it was i wonder little boy. if he's almost like projecting something that's happened or no that's... i don't think i don't think i don't think it was on purpose i think maybe it's something from the book i genuinely believe it's probably something some some like symbolism that he didn't see in the book and then he made the movie kind of like going back like you know homage to the actual um mm-hmm. novel and that he didn't think about it but it's it's there in the film and the in the book, so I think it's just something that it's just happened. something exactly. Damn. So yeah, that's that's kind of my theory. There's like, uh, um, some of uh, some of them saying that like um, it's it's kind of like a, a it's it's I think that's what you were trying to go for, the whole religious aspect of the mom not believing, and it's almost like yeah. a like a curse for her to not believe because that makes sense too. I'm not saying you're wrong because the whole it's arc of the priest, which we were talking no, about earlier. No, I was just saying the religious aspect is what uh, made the movie so scary for, oh. for a lot of people. Like, well, you know? tell, me, tell me about like why why is it scary because it's religion? Because you, you told me this once. like We were talking one time and I think we were... I think you were asking me what I currently believed or something. But yeah. or we were talking about ghosts or Zeke. I think Zeke was talking about some stuff that had happened Big at red. our last apartment. <laughs> Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but i think he was talking about stuff and i just like because he's a believer for sure yeah because he said something happened with these like stuffed animals that we had where like he was cleaning them up i think we were gonna donate a bunch of shit and yeah. like i was in the bathroom and i came out to the kitchen and i found a stuffed animal like just way out in by mm. like by the kitchen which we had like a long hallway and I was like what like i just laughed about it and i was like why the fuck did you throw this out here and he he just looked like his face just went pale and because he had said yeah and he said like the day but the night before i think i worked and he was home alone and he said he heard like scratches and shit like on the wall i remember yeah Yeah. i remember this conversation now so then back to like this day i'm like i laughed and i was like why did you throw this in the hallway and then he just went fucking pale and he's like i didn't do that and i just laughed about it i was like really like come on and he's like i didn't do that so every so we were talking about that and then you said something about like 
depending on your religion, it's like you wouldn't be scared of the devil if you didn't believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly what Linda Blair, the girl, the little girl, that's who plays her. Yeah. Um, she was a Protestant. So that's why it was so easy for her to play this role because she was like the devil to her was like just like the fucking boogeyman, you know, she's like, it's not real. It's not scary. That's what I was trying to say. Just that's what um scared a lot of people is like if they believed. Oh, this, it's kind of like they're, yeah. they came from a background that this is a this could have happened. Then seeing it happen like to someone else, is, certain a certain someone's uh father said that oh yeah this person down the street they were possessed for like a long time and i was like and like they were telling me this and i'm like were they possessed or were they mentally ill like yeah. how, what it's, it's and it's like drawing that line yeah you know, so it's, it's like, kind of like depending on what you believe in mm -hmm. yeah 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 every time you say that i just keep thinking about how they threw that in there because i didn't expect them i didn't expect a lot from this movie i'm just gonna be honest with you but i i really didn't expect them to like actually try to explain it right they did all the other tests and stuff and also that must have been really terrible to film not just like in the movie but just for um reagan to just film that part right which part the, being it, it was so loud the the machines that they put her in were so loud oh, yeah they used um and they, had they used stated, real uh what like ar machines it? or scanners well, even the workers i believe they everyone. came from an actual medical background wow yeah yeah, see, like even that to film is like, oh my god, dude, that's that looks like so. Painful. They actually said a lot of people uh, during that uh, scene, a lot of people couldn't watch it like the blood shooting out. They were just like, oh, that's too. Oh much. yeah, they did that too. A lot of people. Sick. I forgot all about that. Yeah, they would they, they poked her like neck. Why? One of the tests they were running to see like if she had a brain bleed. I think. Oh, it was like right in her neck, and I remember seeing them like, whoa, that is not. That and is apparently not at all. during you know when it was in theaters that's what where a lot of people threw up or fainted because that was too much in itself yeah. and that's not even the well, scary it's a little part. girl and i think that's yeah. what did it. i think that's a lot a lot of the horror for me comes from the fact that it, it is someone that's younger it's not an adult it's like it's someone who's supposed to be like she's very sweet and, and things like that which is interesting that i think that's a, I, i'm starting to realize maybe that's a thing in horror right you take a, a innocent little sweet child or even a baby and then you kind of do something weird to it you know you possess it you, that's the one who talks to the the, the fucking tv right isn't there the, the poltergeist, poltergeist yeah, yeah i know about yeah because no one wants to see a, a child being harmed right like if i put my um if i put like the uh, Wii remote next to a baby's head and just start rubbing they're gonna tell me to stop like what is that doing like what am i doing to the baby you know like i don't know what you're like a brute that's not gonna hurt the baby but still it's weird but you wouldn't feel comfortable if i just start got like spoons and start like waving it over the baby what that would, that would make you uncomfortable and if but if i did it over zeke you wouldn't care you would be I like that what I don't know if that, that was such a weird example i would just be like what the fuck are you doing i'm just people don't want to see people being yeah, weird people over around babies. Mad about that cheese trend yeah exactly <laughs> they don't want to see that and horror people know that in horror i guess i don't know maybe it's just me that maybe that's one of those things that just makes no, sense i got where you were going and then you started using examples and i was like i don't know i thought the cheese trend was pretty funny no that was good that was, it was pretty i mean it's my cousins like, one of my cousins i guess there was like a cheerio challenge where you like try to see how many cheerios you stack up on their baby while they sleep and he just gets the box pours it all and he's like, I think I did this wrong. <laughs> Sounds like you did. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're topic. fine. It's, it's good. Don't hurt babies. Please don't hurt babies. For the love of God. Don't hurt any babies. Thank you. <laughs> don't hurt children. It works, no, though. It really. scares people. No, really, though, for sure. Like, fuck. Which is why, like you were saying, when you researched the down that rabbit hole of, yeah. like, this other meaning mm -hmm. you're saying that people are upset about it yeah. because no one wants to talk about it because it happens it's, in real life yeah because and it's happens, fucking it, shitty and yeah. it's angering and mm -hmm. yeah even the director didn't talk yeah no one talked about it like what the fuck is going on the fucking i don't want i want to cut her a cunt because she was just so the mom the mom was so not helping and i know she was scared and that's her character right she was a terrified mother but she was very rude all the time she was very angry all the time and i just i didn't like her i don't i ex, I, ex, I understand i understand why she's that upset and it makes sense and i and it like I, if it's the bill but it doesn't mean that i liked it it doesn't mean that i liked it every time she was on i was like oh man who's she gonna yell at now 
but she did yell at the priest because the priest recommended going to like a, do- a different doc. He like hears her out, goes to see the the daughter, and then I feel like at that point he's like, "Wow, this is really bad. This is like what's going on with her." Also, what's going on with her fucking face, dude? Yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. I was like, "Is she?" Well, is I it think the it's throw supposed up? to be like the demon uh, coming through. No, when she had the crucifix, she also like slashed her face with it or some shit. Oh, I thought it was maybe the holy water. What was that thing about? The holy water was just tap water. Yeah, why? Which is what. The, oh, that's what made him question the, the, his, like... Well, no, the, no, no. When they first... Yeah, yeah. He gets there, and he's, he like... Says, he mean? tells her, oh, like, you know, the demon's like, what's that? And he's like, holy water. Throws it, and then it starts burning. And so then that's when he comes down. He's like, she's not possessed because this is tap water. But I told her it was holy water, and all of a sudden it starts burning. Is that... Was that just for his character, right? To keep questioning a little bit before he, like, at the end with his arc where he's, like... Um, takes the demon that's spoiler fucking fat ass spoiler at this point where he battles pazuzu and the demon comes out of her and possesses him mm-hmm. and then he offs himself by jumping out the window yeah like the like the other guy that did. was so that the demon couldn't couldn't yeah, hurt no. anyone else but that's that that's i feel like that's when it was all like all this questioning you know like it was his time to like do something maybe maybe in that point it was like uh, i i didn't help my mother i gotta help somehow like I, yeah. I have to like redeem myself that's it that's it i feel like i, I, I wrapped that one up pretty good so his whole thing <laughs> sorry oh um ozzy osbourne actually said that when him and the band black sabbath when yeah. they went to go watch this they were so scared shitless that really? uh they shared a hotel room that night like they all that's, slept together because they were so scared do you actually think this was that scary of a movie because i honestly Back wasn't then that- well, so like is it me then because i i i like yeah. it i really like it i don't think it's the scariest film out there um but the thing is like we're older now and like but i wasn't in the theaters i was just home and i, I know, moved by but, myself it was that the night. way we're like the you way we're was... going about watching them too it's kind of like we're watching them for the podcast you're watching it like yes you're, you're like taking it apart okay i'll hear you in a, right. like in, in a, a sense okay I think it has to do with being older Absolutely. and like logically, like 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 I said back then when I watched it as a kid, fucked me up. Now, if people came into work where I do, they'd be like, "What the fuck?" You know, like I literally like have clients that are in the dark. With, you know, they, they oh, don't yeah. have doors or whatever. Yeah. You know, for safety reasons. Um, and it's just dark, and you'll hear them talking to themselves, and it's just like that's normal because I see it like you see it all in a realistic way I'm like I've seen the craziest shit I've experienced you know what I mean and I'm just like in a logical way I'm like this all kind of just so it comes from somewhere yeah yeah I I think it was a really I think it's good I think it's a really good scary movie that's what I'm trying to say obviously I think it's well if a bed was shaking in my own home someone's levitating obviously yeah then I'm gonna be freaking out yeah they did that with (laughs) wires too they did a bunch of crazy shit like that like when the the woman was flung across the room the um the mom right when uh Reagan slaps her yeah yeah she um the first time the wires right? they did it yeah the, so it's a wire and then some guy is pulling, pulling her. her like physically and the pulling. first time that she he pulled her she got pissed off and they cut it or whatever and she told um she she goes um he pulled me too hard like it's not funny he like stop and so she so then she turns around but she talks about this like in one of the like behind Interviews, the scene yeah. things yeah she says the second she started turning around she saw the guy motion to the dude who's pulling her to say like pull her harder this Yikes. next time when we do it, pull her harder. Oh, so then they do, they oh. do it again. And this is the part they put in the movie. They pull her so fucking hard. Her back slams against the thing. You can see her head. If you go watch that yeah. scene of the movie, her fucking head like whiplashes forward. And she was screaming in actual pain. Wow. And that's the scene they used yeah, in the movie. Yeah, that was really good. That was, that was really, really solid. Yeah. And that's um same with, with Reagan in the bed mm-hmm. when... uh she's like sitting down like you know her legs are like straight and her back is like straight but going up and down like wooden planks or something and like a corset that had her and something went wrong with the machine all right she said i think that the corset came undone so it when it was flinging her because the board was supposed to keep her back like intact right so it wouldn't hurt her but it It wouldn't slam her back yeah but it came loose so she was slamming down and in the movie i think they say like you could hear her i think one of the guys i don't know if it's the director or whoever his name's billy Mm -hmm. and she actually was like yelling to stop she's like it hurts like when she says it hurts that was literally the actor saying please stop it fucking hurts dude i didn't know that i didn't know that (laughs) at all (laughs) 
Wow. But the dude was so into like that, getting like, this raw shit. I don't know. I, I think no, yeah. Oh my god. No, no, no. I don't know about her. I think she was okay after the fact. You know, they checked on her, whatever. They used that scene. The mom though, when they did her, she had to go to a chiropractor a couple of times. Yikes! I don't <laughs> fucking paid for that. That is what. Oh, and also another one. The priest didn't know he was going to get thrown up on. He thought he was going to get thrown up on the yes, shoulder. Yes, that and that's like raw footage too. He was actually fucking upset and pissed that it got into his mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was supposed to. They practiced it on over and over with like a dummy or something yeah. where he was going to land. But um, yeah, someone messed up and it went on onto his mouth. Mm-hmm. And so him wiping it off was actually the, the guy. Like, what the fuck it, is this? Yeah, I think they used um pea soup. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, pea soup um, mixed with something. Something or other, but yeah. And they use, um for some of the scenes, like the grocery scenes, which I'm glad they did. I thought that they used a little girl for everything. No, they used like just a different actress. Oh, uh, like a stunt double. Stunt double, yeah. Um, which I'm glad. Yeah, and the the crucifix yeah. scene. Yeah. She's yeah. actually just stabbing into a box. Because right there, she just... and like That's how ironic. Yeah. A box for her box, you know? Oh, Jesus fucking... Should I cut that out? I don't know. Boop. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, think I should? Yeah, you should. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I just kept thinking about it because you're like, oh, her box. I'm like, what do you mean? Because she's still a child in the movie. I'm sorry. That, uh, oh, okay. my God. That was so bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, but, yeah, she had no idea what she was doing even after the fact. Like, as a kid, you know, she watched the movie. She doesn't know what's happening. But yeah, she was just stabbing into a box. Oh wait, so oh, I thought the stunt double was doing the no, like stabbing her area. No, it's a. I think they go between the both of them because she the Linda Blair actually talks about it. and She was like, "Yeah, I had no idea." She's like, "To me, I was just stabbing into a box." So I didn't know. Reagan, that's her name, Linda Blair. Linda Blair, yeah. That's cool name. Blair. Yeah. The Blair Witch. Oh, connection. Who knows? (gasps) Do 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 do. Connect these things that are. Linda Blair. Oh, do you what? know about um how cold they kept it in the room? Oh, wasn't it a fridge? Yeah, they literally turned the set into a, a fridge, and um, it was just because he wanted of, to see the breath. Yeah, it was just a bunch of ACs. Um, oh, okay. And every time that like they had to keep it like a certain degree below zero, mm-hmm. and when they would start shooting, the lights from the cameras and all that shit would start to heat up the room. Yeah. So there was a lot of uh times where they had to like stop and then wait for it to like get cold, get cold again man. and like warner brothers i think at one point like because it was taking so long to film this movie like the studio and like how you said earlier they already didn't really want to do this movie yeah they didn't and have any faith them, in it one of them like popped in i think while they were doing this and they were like are you fucking kidding me like because they had to stop so much and wait for mm. this room to get cold again and they're like what what the fuck is this what are you doing and they're like, just trust it, just trust the process. But yeah, it's crazy that it even came out, to be honest. And like now, it's considered like one of the best, like yeah. scary, not just scary movies, but just one of the best movies of all time. The fact that people were literally fainting and throwing up, it's crazy, running out of the like that's so cool. But I also feel like it, it, like if, if you say that to people, like whoever's listening right now, right, say they're never gonna watch it. They're 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 gonna think it's something like you're gonna am- ha- hold it to higher, higher standards. It's yeah. not it's but not the it's best time. Film. Yeah, no, it's it's not the best film in the world. But it's impressive what they went through to get some of the effects and, and to get um, the results that they wanted is very impressive. Oh, okay, definitely which, like good. watch it by yourself with There's the lights gross, off. Yeah. I mean, you'll get yourself in the mood and then just dive right in if that's what you want. Because I feel like that's when it would be really good. Like for me, like it kept stopping. Like yeah. my internet kept cutting out and I would like and I ended up just switching and just watching it on my phone max brightness. I had like a fucking speaker yeah. right next to just I tried to make the, the most immersive experience that I could. See, um, I was like I was watching it. Um. <laughs> And then I think I had like a few other tabs. I think I was like online shopping and listening to it <laughs> because I've seen it. it before. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. like, okay, what points do I want to focus on? And what do I want to talk about? <laughs> Jesus. Dude. Um, wow. No, no, no. And then I think I had another tab open because I like um, of notes a or fucking, something. No, there's a channel that is always on at my work. Someone watches it where it's like uh, talking about a lot of what's that fucking show? Like scary movies. Um, no, it it's about real to... murders. Um, oh. True hotline crime. something hot- true, 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 <laughs> true, true crime no it's called something line Charter. dateline dateline yeah it's that channel where dateline's always playing mm. and on that same channel they have stuff something called hollywood something where they talk about scary Holly- movies hollywood hookers <laughs> the hash yeah. and slashers really they talk about hookers mm-hmm. 
No, but it's oh, okay. some. It talks Flash about TV. scary movies and the mm-hmm. weird shit that went on behind the scene, behind the scenes. Yeah. So I remember them talking about The Exorcist and all the weird deaths related to the movie. Okay. So when I was when I had the movie playing, I was looking up what happened. Oh. You know, all the deaths. So that you happened. were like, re- like you're watching. Yeah. Okay, because when you said online shopping, I was like, no. Bro. no. <laughs> Not, not actually. I had a bunch of tabs open. I was Anyways. going through. Okay, well, see, that's more respectable <laughs> than just you going through. I mean, if that's what you're doing, that's what you were doing. But like, understand well, that it's a little, so, it's a little not just not just in genuine, but like a little like. Um, no, I watched the like, movie. Is your heart in the right place? You know, or you just. <laughs> but you watched it a lot. Like if yeah, I was doing I've that, I feel like that would really mess up that's the, the difference the credibility like, that's that was your first time watching it this is like my fifth time yeah and then so you remembered a little the bit other night when we were supposed to watch it originally when we thought we were gonna like freaking party and it was supposed to be a super chill the night but thing. then everybody ended up having to work or Crashing whatever or what, yeah. yeah um that night i watched it oh really yeah oh. i watched like half of it and then i went back to work and i, I tried watching it again and then I think I ended up falling asleep. Right? I don't know what. But like I watched it quite a few times three days in a row. So that on that third day, it was kind of just playing in the background. And then if it was like a scene that I like wanted to like, oh, shit, let me go back. Yeah. I would go. I, and I went back. I went yeah. back a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. It took me longer to watch it than, than like the actual. Run and then when I was like doing research back. and they would talk about certain scenes, were, I would go through like ooh. I would scrub through and find it again. So thank you. Okay, yeah. That's no, the kind of I thorough really, research. <laughs> no, it wasn't just I like fucking half shoes. In. Yeah. No, no. Thank you. I appreciate that because I was I was definitely putting in some work. Yeah. Like I and then I was like and then I kept hearing some of the same facts. I'm like, there has to be more. I have like three pages of notes. Like, give me some credit, dude. I I Thank did. Thank you. This. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did you, so I remember earlier you said that the director heard that there was an exorcist around his neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was a neighborhood. I think it was in a paper that, or something. He was like came across it like the right because the writer was also the director. I believe wasn't he? So then he was. Oh no 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 no. No. The writer was the producer. The writer also wrote the screenplay. Oh, so which then, doesn't normally happen. So then, what I my theory about like he took stuff from the mm-hmm. and the director didn't know he was actually like what he was putting in. There yeah, no, 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 that's necessarily. So you're like theory. When I said credible. maybe he's projecting, is because he wrote the book and oh, he wrote fuck. the screenplay. Okay, that makes which sense. Which is why now. when I was like looking at all, ugh, when I was looking at like the interviews of little girl, you know, and I, I was watching a lot of interviews mm-hmm. of all of them. And what I was going to say back when you were talking about all like the sexual things, mm. which like, again, it might be kind of hard to listen to. Um, they were talking about their relationship with the girl. And like she she's talking like she's yeah. inter- being interviewed and she never said anything about this. But the dude seemed really creepy. Which dude? Um, the, the, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he was the director or the writer, but he said like he his relationship with her. He was like, you know, we always had fun. He he told her about the crucifix part. He obviously didn't explain what it was or what's really going on in that, you know, into detail. She doesn't fucking know. No one's going to explain well, this. Her to mom the kid. was there, though. Yeah. But he was saying like, um, you're going to have to do this thing, you know, where you like do this in motion, like between your legs. She's like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And then he, it was just really weird the way he said he was like, and then I would just like, like make oh, her he laugh. It? Yeah. He said, like coerced her into it. Yes. Almost. That's what, and he's like, no. And I would just like tickle her and I'd be like, oh, yes, you are. And like, they would laugh about it. And I was like, that's oh, fucking weird. That is fucking that's weird. weird. Yeah. No, but, I, no. but like I said, she got interviewed. I mean, she's never said anything in yeah. that type. There hasn't been anything yeah. from her. Where she was, well, she I just would hope said, that it wouldn't. I mean, her her, her parents were there, like her, like they yeah. were there. So I would hope that you know, and it was already kind of tense, and then people. Yeah, were she said of, when they did those scenes, like everything was because no one wanted to see that. You know, it yeah. was like everyone on the set was like whoever needed to be there was there, and everyone else was like, no, I don't want to fucking mm-hmm. you know. And she's like, they would just roll through it, and that was it. Like there was no weirdness, there was no nothing. Yeah. But like the dudes. The way the dude said it, like the way like he creepy. described it, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I didn't maybe he didn't like go it. about it, and maybe in that format, like in that, but his way of uh, relaying the information and how he kind of thought about yeah. it and, and carried himself was. And probably again, I don't remember if that was the director or the writer, but one of those. I guys. bet it, I don't know. It seems like the director. I'm just gonna. I'm assuming that it's the director because he's the one who kind of all the bullshit the, both of their names are William, I believe. Yeah. So it was hard to. They are calling oh. one of them Billy and the other yeah. one. I would see that kind of thing from the director just because of how like crazy, you know, and, and the yeah. lengths he went and put the actors through. That's why I wouldn't put it past him. The writer said he was in college at the time and then he heard it around the town that yeah, that yeah. was happening. Okay. Yeah, see that I yeah, that's that's what I that's what I came across as well. It it was that the exorcism, quote unquote, the rumor around the town. Some people did actual research on it and I don't know if they performed one after all. 
but it was definitely like the the kid was cutting himself like that's where they got that part in the movie where um mm-hmm. regan was kind of like etching help into her stomach from the inside that was apparently this kid was just not right in the head kind of started doing this weird shit like it wasn't it wasn't the, think the same the same uh heft the as way far the, as... the newspapers portrayed it like they definitely made it seem yeah. like it was something it was a lot some more crazier... like it said in the newspaper you know the kid starts acting however and so then and those people were lutheran Mm-hmm. like of the lutheran religion and so then they took him to like a minister and the minister was like just leave him here for a night i'll see how he does yeah. and then in the paper right we don't know if this i mean you said you did the research and then it's yeah. just yeah so was, in the paper it says like oh the minister claims that um his bed moved around which is where they got that for the movie yeah okay. and that uh he at one point was in the chair with like his knees to his chest and that the chair was moving could have just been him shaking exactly but him shaking he was the shaking bed. yeah yeah, and then I guess the minister told them, well, I don't know if he's like, I saw this. If you want, the Catholics believe in this. If you yeah, want to check oh, that out. And that's, and that's, that's, that's what where they it did. all came And then up. I guess later like, it was just kind of like, he's fine. The word, you know, got spread around. And now we have a film. Now we have a film that's fucking wild, and, and I don't know how to feel about it. Well, part of me is like, wow, as far as, like, the artistry of it, it wasn't just a piece of schlock. You gained so right? much respect after yeah. seeing, like, the amount of work that the they work put, put in. And, like, especially for that time. Um, just something as simple as when they're going up the stairs. Yeah. The way that was filmed back then, they didn't have... Dolly. Yeah, they system. didn't have those back then. So it's yeah. literally a guy. They set up wires from, like, way up oh, wherever. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he He's on like a plank, like on a fucking piece of and wood, they just, and they just have him. They like hang him going up as they walk. They were like, "We need to get this of them going up the stairs just in one clean shot." Yeah. So they have this dude just following them up backwards. See, that's the tricks like that. That like now it's just it's so easy to do because yeah. it's so because so, it's like so. Oh, common. and then they were talking about like you know with the making the room cold. It's like nowadays that would just be CGI'd in yeah. the fog. They would, like, yeah, so no, they wouldn't have done shit. that. Yeah, yeah. Like the amount of, of like blood, sweat, and tears. Literally, I feel like that. If anything, if, if anyone takes anything uh, like that, we're saying out of this podcast, like that's credited that they were crediting the film with, definitely took blood. It was definitely sweat, you know, and there was definitely fucking tears. Like genuinely, that is what was going on. It was fucking hot. People were like not in the best mood, and people were uncomfortable. It was. I I just assume that it's probably gonna be like my favorite out of all of the films that we've. That we're yeah. gonna watch, well, but who knows? Who knows? who knows? who knows? Who knows? <laughs> oh, you don't want me to. Keep it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, what, what? What is this one we're gonna watch next? Or it's back? I don't Maybe know we should. Next. We'll get I don't another know because I, what I'm scared. I mean, there's so many movies out there, but I'm scared that we're gonna hop through all the best all ones. of the the well known ones, and nobody's gonna want to like listen for like because we were talking about getting into like Korean films and crazy. Okay, you know, like, yeah, dude. Maybe we'll do. More. Oh. <gasps> Do. I don't know if I should announce one that I'm thinking of. No, we'll talk about it. Don't, no, okay, 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 okay. Don't okay, do okay. it now. I thought we'll save this it. Crossed my mind the other day. Save it, like, or, or or in case you have like some films, just maybe like write them down or something. Oh, I have. Yeah, okay, girl. Something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess okay. we gotta get it. This has been. This has been it. I feel like this was a good one. There was a lot of back and yeah, forth. I, we were very excited. Me too. Man. You're the best. Thank yeah, you thank for you, suggesting Michems. this. This was really. It cool. was so fun to look into. Yeah, uh, do you with uh, your fucking. Your, my my like how I my how lens you analyzed yeah my lens mind blowing oh thank you holy shit like I'm I, s- I feel like I did I'm I, so I f- happy I don't know is it good I don't no, know it was so good like okay, all this, this stuff you said about the beginning because I just brushed it off yeah no I was, I was like, well I was really focused on the beginning because it didn't make any sense to because me. I started I started dipping into like the the other two movies uh-huh. and how like it doesn't make sense unless you watch those and kind of that but like you went in and you made sense of it and i'm like whoa the reason why i did it and not that the other parts it's just that was the most confusing bit yeah it was like what is this like what's up with the dogs barking like why is everyone what's up with the mints like what is all that about and like why and like this i priest, said like when you just kind of watch the movie you just kind of like okay whatever get yeah. to the scary no so that like the, was that's why that's the reason why like it's not like the rest of it i didn't feel it was important but like I can, given like the story beats and the characters, I can kind of see what they were going for. But at the beginning, I was just like, what is this? Yeah, that's what, what you that's, really wanted to. That's what I really wanted to figure find out. out. There was a lot of back and forth, man. There was a lot of facts and stuff. This was this was a, a very layered movie. Super layered movie. <laughs> Don't put that in, please. Okay. <laughs> what, it, can I? <laughs> no. Please. Damn it. I really want I this feel, to be. I weekly. honestly think it's better if we do it bi-weekly. Really? Because the mm. way, uh, no, I know 
Okay. I love to do it weekly, but like, what happened? You know what I mean? We're like, okay, we're gonna record this day. Okay, we're gonna record well, that day. I, maybe what if we just try to do it like every Wednesday and just try to stick to the Wednesday thing? Because we usually see each other Wednesdays, anyways. If not, then we won't. I I do, and that's kind you of what I thought was gonna happen. I don't want to make that. I feel like it's easier to say the bi-weekly thing. Right, we'll try. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. You we'll we'll try it. Like if it happens, it happens, and and at least you're honest with me. Like, yeah. At the very at the very least. We'll do it bi weekly. But you know, I like making the stuff. I like making the yeah. you. I think it's definitely um it's a lot easier. Like the last time we watched Child's Play together and I think we were gonna try to watch every movie yeah, and then record right do. after. It sounds you fun. wanna keep doing that? I would like to, yeah. Okay. But I mean I think this one came out a little different because we had like some time with it. Yeah. So like I said, I watched it like back to back for three days on and off. Yeah. We'll figure yeah, it out. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah. figure it out. We'll see. Thanks for being a creepy crawler. Um, if anything, uh, suck my toe. Don't do that. Sorry. Don't do that. There was... A, can I just... Yeah, <laughs> suck the toe. No, no, no. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, no. I don't... I know. I don't... We're apart. Okay. We're not even close. Dude, There's no toes. Next toes <laughs> uh, Zeke, me and Zeke were talking about... Um, Do you remember that one book, Scariest Story is Still in the Dark? Oh, the toe? Yeah, oh, it was like they, was, they mistook it for a potato. And then there was like the voice, where's my toe? Oh, um, No, but there was this TikTok I saw when I was at work. And I, <laughs> it was so scary. It was like the lights were all red, right? This, I mean, this person has like strip lights, whatever. Okay. Um, And it's it's directly pointed at the shower. And there's like a black hand that comes out. And it's like, hello. And then it's like another hand. And I don't know what, I didn't know what it was going to be. But I... I wanted to watch it, but I was you scared because I was I was by myself at oh. the time. <laughs> like, and again, I work where I do, and I just I don't need that extra like paranoia yeah. <laughs> because like I I went to the comments, I went to hide in the comments because I didn't want to watch it, but I wanted to listen. And it's like, um, oh, how far would you go to like save your loved one currently? Do you know where the nearest exit is? Like shit like that. And I think this like whatever the fuck it is is slowly coming out of the shower. So I liked it, right? Because I'm like, I wanna watch this, but I wanna watch this in the daytime. Okay. And then um this morning I showed it to Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was going with this. Okay. But like yeah. Um I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> it was really scary. <laughs> Oh, type in toe. Oh, I remember. <laughs> There's another one. Type in toe in all comment, caps. Comment toe if you're still here with if us. You're still or, here. We, I, been, I tried to end fingers. it twice, but that's okay. Oh, I ended Sorry. it. That's fine. What were you going to say? Okay, what I was going to say is like I was fucking scared because I liked this thing so I could watch it later and then I rewatched it again. And I'm scared that like my feed, you know, TikTok is so fucking on to like its algorithm yeah. that I don't want it to be like, oh, you like scary? Yeah, I'll give you scary. And then like next time I oh, go, it's God. just gonna be oh, you can't even <laughs> enjoy your dog memes or whatever. <laughs> yeah, my freaking dog TikToks. I'm gonna be so scared. Anyways, yeah. I'm just, what was the end? What happened? Someone just it come just out of fucking. The I think eventually it comes out of the shower and Here's it just no ends. It looks like? it, no, I didn't look. I was literally, it was seven in the morning. The sun is bright and shiny. And I closed my eyes and I screamed. And Zeke, I literally had Zeke hold me as we were watching this. For someone who's a creepy crawler, I'm a fuck. I'm a little bitch, dude. I'm a little bitch because I'm home alone. I shouldn't say that. Who's going to listen to this? Oh my God, I should. Sorry. This is how very You're not. I am. You have a lot of whatever. <laughs> You're not alone, dude. Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking because I'm so paranoid about other things. I'm not even going to finish that sentence. It's over. Right. Cut it here. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Comment toe. <laughs>